everyone. All right, well, today is day seven of the small account challenge, and it is my seventh green day in a row. I'm on a hot streak. I've also only taken seven trades. So my accuracy is 100% right now, but I'm only seven trades into the small account challenge. You know, this is kind of the problem with trading in a small account is not getting a lot of trades. So right now, my average winners, um, well, let's see, I've got um, 700 today, and the account, the starting balance um, was about 5,900. So 5,900 minus 4,300, uh, and then add the 700 from today, is 2,300 divided by seven. So average daily profit, $328 right now. That's, that's great, but that's, and that's my average trade, but when I have one negative trade in there, it's gonna really skew the results. And right now, if I had one negative, uh, one losing trade, all of a sudden my accuracy is gonna go from 100% uh, down to 88%, just in one trade one, with one loser. So, you know, that's, that's kind of one of the challenges with not having a lot of trades is a couple of trades can seriously throw off your metrics. Uh, at the same time, as I mentioned yesterday, and as I've sort of mentioned right along during this challenge, the focus of trade the best, leave the rest. One trade a day is increasing my accuracy. Now in my big account, my accuracy is certainly lower. I have a bit of a um, higher risk tolerance in that account, so I can take starters, I can take dip trades, I can take riskier trades that in a small account, I just couldn't possibly trust. So. While my accuracy is lower and my average losers are on the bigger side in that account, the total number of trades is substantially higher. At the end of the day, I'm making more money in that account. Right? So uh, in the small account, it's just gotta be slow and steady. And today's another day of slow and steady profit. Um, one entry, and I think I had three exits scaling out, selling uh, quarter, 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 or quarter, quarter, and then balance, or something like that. It was Maybe it was half quarter and then I, I don't remember exactly how I did it but anyways we'll go over it during the recap I hope you guys enjoy it as always day seven in the books I'll be back at it tomorrow for day eight all right see you later What's up, everyone? All right, so I'm uh, gonna break down small account challenge day seven, best day so far in the small account challenge. Meds, M-E-D-S. This was the one that I traded. Bought it at 7.09 um, early. This was when it was squeezing up right here. So I sat down a little earlier this morning and I got this dip at 7.09. Even on the one minute chart, it's kind of hard to see where that was. Uh, it was more of a, a 10 second entry and it was aggressive. The, the thing was on this, we had just gotten um, this squeeze right here. And I thought, boy, you know, we've got the news that has just come out. I, I think if I wait for it, I'm gonna miss it. So I went ahead and punched it. Uh, stop was just below seven, so like 6.95 in at 7.09 and I bought, um, let's see, I was able to buy about 748 shares. That was 90% of my buying power. So this morning when I sat down, the account had $5,954.29. Uh, so making some progress since I started it uh, seven days ago. And uh, I was able to buy 748 shares. So 748 shares in at 7.09. I set out some profit targets first at seven, um, I believe it was 7.50. And then I said, you know what? Let's push, let's cancel those and push them a little higher. I put an order at 798, I put another profit target at 824, and then I sold the rest at 806 when it started to pull back. And so that was as it was squeezing up right through here. And then this was where I got picked up at 824 on that candle right there up to 832. And I sold the rest as it came back down. So that was my one trade and it was early. That was at um, like 8.45 a.m. I was all out, uh, 8.45 and I was done, done for the day. That was my one trade in the small account. Today's the biggest green day in the small account. I had two $600 days to start the challenge, which were good, uh, but today uh, exceeded both of those. And that's because my account is now has $1,500, $1,600 more money and therefore more buying power than I had seven days ago. So I'm able to be a bit more aggressive and uh, that, that paid off. Now I'm still trading, um, you know, 
fairly conservatively in that I'm only taking one trade a day and I'm only using my cash equity. I'm not using any leverage. This account does give me leverage and I'm not using it. I'm just using my starting equity, which is you know what the account starts with each morning. But of course, seven days in, the account is growing. And now tomorrow I'm gonna come in and the account's gonna be at about $6,500, which means you know we have a $5 stock and I can buy over a thousand shares. A $7 stock, I'll be able to buy closer to 800 shares, uh, 900 shares. My share size is just gonna be able to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So that one trade a day, the profit will be, uh, will be larger. But focusing on one trade a day will continue to be the small account way as I focus on growing this account and um, avoiding over trading because over trading is when I'm most likely to expose myself to losses. So trading at the open and pre-market, breaking news, stocks that are gapping up, that's gonna be the strategy. I was considering trading neuro in the small account and that was pre-market and I just felt like I was like, you know, the thing is, I can only buy 400 shares of it. To make $800, I would have to get $2 a share, and that's that's never going to happen on Neuro. I don't even know if I'm going to get 40 or 50 cents because it was kind of choppy pre-market until it started to open up around 9.15, and at that point, it was $17, $18, and I was just like, ah, it's, this is getting too expensive and too risky for the small account. So, you know, as it turns out, uh, if I had been trading in the small account all day today, and I had taken many trades, I probably would have gotten this lucky trade, uh, you know, where I got this long on the red to green and we ended up getting this big squeeze. And I made some great money in my main account. I'm up almost $50,000 today in my main account. But of course, that's trading with bigger size and taking higher levels of risk and taking dozens of trades. I just don't have the risk tolerance to do that in the small account. And I won't until it's quite a bit bigger. So. I got green, I shut it down, and that's it. I I am getting a little anxious about a red day. I feel like a red day is, is coming. Um, I don't know, I just, I feel like it is. And I guess the longer you have green days, maybe the more you start to feel that way. So I'm trying to kind of prepare myself that as soon as I get in something and it doesn't look good, just bail out immediately. Just cut it fast so the loss is tiny. And that way the account, you know, for that day doesn't grow, but I don't take a big hit on it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the pre-trading checklist I put together for you yesterday uh, with the PDFs and everything. So you could have those um, printed out on your charts or on uh, printed out and, and hanging around your, your monitor. Meds uh, would have been classified as a micro pullback, although um, it, for, takes the shape of a micro pullback on the one minute chart. On the 10 second chart, it really is a bit of a bull flag and it's the second pullback. The first pullback was uh, right here and the second one was right here. And it was for a curl and a breakthrough 35 high of day. Uh, so that was the setup there and it continued a little bit higher. Tried to do a flat top breakout, it failed, it dipped down. I held through this pullback uh, before taking profit as it curled back up. Uh, that I thought, um, it was a little riskier to hold through this entire pullback because it hit a high of 8.03 and then pulled back all the way to 7.45. Usually I wouldn't want to hold through that big of a pullback. But because I was in at 7.09, I kind of just said, you know what, let's let it work. It's a good setup. It really is. And, and it did play out. It did work. But I took profit on that next uh, move higher up to the high of 8.32. And it may end up going higher today, but... Um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Well, you know what? I won't see what happens because I'm shutting it down and I'm done for the day. So that's it for me. Green Day recap, day seven of the Small Account Challenge. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for day eight. And that right there was an entire video with no ads. I don't monetize my YouTube channel with video ads, which means you guys get to enjoy the content. But do me a favor, please hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up and let YouTube know that this channel is the channel to watch if you want to learn about day trading.